In a cool spring morning of March, I headed towards the Kushaldanga village of Shantiniketan. Just for the festival of colors, Holi, Kushaldanga celebrates the festival of flowers, Baha. A tribal village on the outskirts of Shantiniketan, Kushaldanga is a village of modern outlook and tribal cultural heritage. I had been to Gushaldanga before. On my first visit, I was amazed to know that this village has a non-formal Santal school named Rolf Schoim's Vidyashram or RSV established in 1996. It has educated children of several Santal villages in Birbhum district by using a pioneer and model method of education. And all this is possible because of a man named Dr. Martin Kamchen, writer, translator, educationist. Martin Kamchen had first set foot in Shantiniketan almost four decades ago to pursue a PhD in Vishwabharati University. He took an instant liking to the place and by his own confession has never been away from it for more than three months at a stretch. Martinda stays in Purvopolli of Shantiniketan. Apart from his efforts of educating our tribals, his body of work consists of personalities as varied as Ramkrishna, Vivekananda, Rabindranath Tagore, Harman Hess, Gunter Grass and others. He has the most authentic translations of Tagore, Ramkrishna and Vivekananda's work in German to his credit. Now let's get back to our Baha festival. Baha means flower in Shantali. It is the second biggest festival of the Santals after Sorhai, the harvest festival. It is also considered the holiest festival of all and celebrated in the Bengali month of Falgun that is February and March every year. Falgun is the first month of Shantal calendar. The festival celebrates humans' communion with nature. Baha means flower in Shantali. It is the second biggest festival of the Santals after Sorhai, the harvest festival. It is also considered the holiest festival of all and celebrated in the Bengali month of Falgun, that is February and March every year. Falgun is the first month of Shantal calendar. The festival celebrates humans' communion with nature. This is the time when most common trees like mohua, people, mango, polash, neem, shal bear new leaves, fruits and flowers. This is the time Santals believe when the trees become reproductive and one should not disturb their body and soul by plucking or cutting off their buds, flowers, leaves or branches. Therefore, Santals never pluck or eat the flowers or fruits of the mango tree, never tear off the leaves of the people or the neem trees before celebrating Baha. Women do not use shawl flowers in their hair for decoration and trees are not cut for firewood at this time. If it does happen so, then the firewood is not brought to the village but is kept outside. Any family who breaks such rules will not be visited 
by the village priest who normally enters every family's house during the baha rituals it is celebrated for one day after the traditional baha of the village is over it's held on the large playground of gushaldanga after the procession in the village a symbolic baha ritual is performed on the playground Santal festivals have always been closed community festivals. There is little scope of non-santals to join and integrate with them. Considering this limitation, 28 years ago, when registered societies of Kushal Danga and Vishnu Bhati started to organize the Adivasi Baha Poro, which is an extension of the traditional Baha festival. The main objective was to open this festival to santals of other villages and to non-santals and thus make it inclusive to disseminate the ideas of baha among the people at large. later various tribal sports folk dances are organized everybody can take part
in the evening the prize distribution felicitation santali dramas and a whole night musical program take place a competition is held of the different varieties of santali dances and music throughout the evening However, I could not stay back for the night as I had to return back to Kolkata. Hope you liked the video. Please like, share and subscribe. Till we meet again, take care and bye.